you're still landline. At the CPA, do you have a phone number for the RP? Maybe you're still landline and a location where our victim's at? Uh, phone number is name's Okay. Uh, I'm not sure that, but the female who got hit, they both, the male and the female, both got into the van and headed north. Continuing attempt to locate, time lapse of about probably 40 seconds, RP states, seen a male hit a female domestic. He got into a white Ford Transit van, has a black ladder on the back, Florida plate of the van turned right onto Main Street from Moonflower Market and headed north onto Main Street, 1638. Hey, what's going on with y'all, man? It's Black Balloon, and I'm coming back with another video, so y'all already know what's going on. All right, so look, highly requested Gabby Petito video so y'all know i was gonna come through with it and just give my thoughts about it you know i'm not gonna go too crazy and you know do what a lot of youtubers and people across the internet are doing right now because y'all know me i always go into these type of cases and you know these really confusing cases and things that we get things that we've done on this channel and things that are just happening in recent news y'all know i like to kind of just Pick the main points, pick out the main inconsistencies or show the relations, you know, to the occult being behind it or the fact that it may be a psyop and none of this could be real in the first place. I don't like to dig into all of the different theories, you know, trying to make something seem more than what it is like a lot of people do, because then we're giving into the ritual. We're giving them our energy and we're not really we're not really seeing the truth. We're not really, you know, you know, seeing it for what it is. We're just, we're too focused on trying to prove something that will never be proved because you have to understand this was not done for you to find out the truth. You know, this was done so they paint you a certain narrative to draw, draw you into the story, draw your emotions into the story so you don't see anything else while you know, while the entire time, entire, excuse me, while the entire time they're actually doing, you know, this is actually a ritual. This was actually done as I would like to say a harvest moon ritual because they do sacrifices and rituals around this time as we enter into fall. And as they say here, her body was actually found on September 19th which would have been the harvest moon, the harvest full moon. And the crazy thing about this, which is why I played that audio of the 911 call, um, the supposed 911 call, because I don't think that call, I don't think the audio was made available immediately. It seems like they put that piece of audio out in order to like, basically show that Brian was the aggressor and he was the one that actually hit her, which made some, you know, some passerby person call the police and report a domestic abuse situation or whatever. So it seems to me that they put that out in order to get, you know, they don't want the narrative or anything to go on her as being the aggressor. She's the she is what is captivating people right now. You know, she's like, you know, she has the leading role in what's going on, you know. So everything as far as her case, her job, it has to be completely, you know, victim. You know, it can't be anything else that paints her as the aggressor, which the cops were kind of doing throughout the entire footage of when they got pulled over that day, I think August 12th. So it kind of, you know, it, it kind of felt odd that they waited to put that audio out. At least that's what I thought about it. But the connection to the harvest full moon ritual being the fact that if you listen closely in that audio of the 911 call, 
they said that they were, you know, leaving out of some restaurant called, um, I think it was called um, Moonflower Cafe. That's exactly what it was called. It was called Moonflower Cafe. All right, y'all. So here goes another connection in the Moonflower community. Now it says... Gabby Petito's disappearance and the murder of a woman who worked at the mob co-op um, where Petito and the fiance Brian was found, where they basically had an explosive fight, excuse me, six days after Petito and Laundry, I'm going to assume that's how you pronounce his name, had a physical altercation at the Moonflower Community Cooperative store worker, um, Kylan Schultz, 24, and her wife, Crystal Turner, 38, were found dead, partially undressed, where they had been camping. Now, this happened August 18th. August 18th. So if we want to go occult-wise, this would have been 666. We know 18 breaks down to three sixes. And they also said this happened about six days after... Gabby and um, Gabby and her boyfriend were stopped on August 12th. This was exactly six days after that incident that the two bodies of the other two women were found. Well, I'm, I'm not sure if they're um, I'm not sure if that was two women. So my bad. I think that might have been a man and a woman. The first two names just seem kind of feminine. No. Well, this picture right here is two women, so maybe it was two women. <laughs> so anyways, um, so basically this is kind of, you know, this is kind of like another connection to the case. But the Utah, um, the Utah police, they basically said they don't have too much to go on to connect the two. And that there's not much that they can say um, as far as the two being, you know, connected uh, or um, Gabby actually being murdered by someone who 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 murdered these two women, you know, so there's not a full connection right now that they can go on. But I just thought this would have been interesting to add, considering that on August 18th, we get a triple six when we break down that 18. And so, you know, we don't believe in coincidences around here. So I thought that was odd immediately as soon as I listened to it because there were there were two words that were that really caught my attention when I watched um the video of them of them getting pulled over that day and when I listened to that audio and when he when they said the moonflower cafe it was like boom it just kind of clicked in my head as far as the harvest moon being right around the time that she um, was discovered, which would have been September 19th. So once again, I thought that was odd. You know, we always get little pieces, little pieces of symbolism that we can notice so we can figure out who's behind the ritual, which we already know this is the occult. Not for, I mean, for one second, not one second that I believe that any of this case was real. Now, when I watch the entire hour footage of them getting pulled over when I watched that, like literally she did not, she were, she was forcing tears out of her eyes when she first got pulled over. And I, and I watch these things to watch people's body language, to watch if they're actually being genuine. And it seemed like it was rehearsed. It really did because she walked over to the car and she immediately got ready to tell her story. Like she immediately got in in acting mode, like immediately jumped to like started crying and forcing out the tears, even though even though it seemed like she was crying before they got there. But to me, that was just getting into the role because she cried the entire time. The entire time. Who cries that long? And people are so like people are so invested in it, so in their feelings that like they can't even think. They can't even think for themselves. All they're doing is just feeling bad for her, calling the boyfriend a narcissist and trying to trying to like, you know, pick out every single thing that he's doing. You know, he's being you know, he's acting like all super nice toward the cops, but really he's controlling and he's a narcissist. He's all this shit. I'm seeing all of these comments 
like on the main um some of the main threads on like you know the news channels and stuff that posted on YouTube because I like to see what the main public is thinking about it and every single time I get disgusted because it's nothing but it's nothing but like bots and just brainless people who not even thinking for one second that some of this shit seems completely off and maybe what we looking at is not even real maybe we all being played because you know most people just don't have the power to think that they just think like how can something be so true they looking at this white girl that's in all these pictures on mountains and this and that and they look at this guy who is who is clearly acting they're both actually acting and immediately just like anyone would do that doesn't think for them damn selves jumps <laughs> jumps to just blame blame the boyfriend he's doing this he's doing that blah 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 and you know really not even thinking about the fact that all of this shit is fake if they can sit around and fake mass shootings with kids in it what makes y'all think that this is real just think about it and i'm not gonna say the things that they they faked and that were psyops because it'll probably get this video flagged but y'all know what i'm talking about and i'm gonna actually do that video on my patreon when it goes live but y'all know what i'm talking about if they can fake those kind of mass shootings what makes y'all think that this shit is real Especially when you see in the signs, you see in the signs that a lot of this shit don't add up. And the fact that they made, they, they, um, they filed the missing report on September 11th. On September 11th, out of all days. And then the day that they found her remains was a harvest full moon. Now here, from here on out, I'm going to just play a couple clips and let y'all actually see the beginning of um, the footage when they first got pulled over. Now, I'm pretty sure a lot of y'all have probably seen this by now, but it's just so you could kind of get a picture of what I'm talking about on how I think she's forcing those tears and it's not really genuine. And they both, the officer and her, they just both seem like they jumped into the role immediately. Like it wasn't. It just didn't like, as I always say, it didn't feel genuine. Like I've I've gotten really good at picking this stuff out because it's, it's hard to get out my head other than saying it's not genuine. You know, it's hard to really explain it. You just have to see it. You have to feel them not being like, you know, this is not a real situation. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's hard to really explain it to y'all. So I just hope y'all actually be able to see what I'm seeing. You know, by me kind of explaining it to you before you look at it so you can kind of watch for the signs just in their body language and their tone. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to just show you all those clips. We're going to also talk about a few more things that has to do with this case. And I'm going to come right back to you all. So check this out. You want to place your vehicle in the park and go ahead and turn it off for me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, park? Oh, it, it isn't parked yet. Okay, turn off your engine. Go ahead and set your keys on the dash for me, all right? What's your guys' names? Gabby. I'm Brian. Gabby, Brian, okay. What's going on? How come you're crying? I'm just crying. We've just been fighting this morning. Some personal issues. It was a long day. We were camping yesterday and camping got the supplies and stuff. I'm sorry, I'm sorry I hit the, the bump there. <laughs> I was distracting him from driving, I'm sorry. Can I get you to step out of the vehicle for me, man? Yeah. Just hang tight right there. Um, do you mind if I take your keys and just put them on your hood? You got it, buddy. I'm so Thank sorry. You. Oh, no, you're fine. I'm going to go ahead and close your door, okay? okay? Why don't you come over here? SO229, I have the female that was on the passenger mm -hmm. seat separated from the male. Keys are on the hood. You want to tell me what's going on? Yeah, I don't know. It's just, some days, 
I, <laughs> I have really bad OCD, and okay. I just, I was just cleaning and straightening up the back of the before, and I was apologizing to him and saying, I'm sorry that I'm so mean, because sometimes I have OCD, and sometimes I just get really frustrated, not like mean towards him, I just like, I, mean, I guess my vibe is like, I I hear him be like in a bad mood, and I was just saying, I'm sorry if I'm in a bad mood, I've just been really stressed, I had so much work I was doing on my computer this morning. What do you do for a living? Um, well, I, I hate to get an organic juice bar, but I just quit my job. Okay. I was a nutritionist, that's oh, what, okay. that was my that's job, cool. and I just um, quit my job to travel across the country, and I'm trying to start a blog, and okay. just have a blog and stuff, so I've been building my website, so I've just been really stressed, and he doesn't really believe that I could do any of it, so that's kind of been like a, I don't know, he's like in, down there, I don't know, we've just been fighting all morning, and and he wouldn't let me in the car before, and then Why I, wouldn't he let you in the car? Because you, you're OCD? He told me I needed to calm down, yeah, <laughs> but I'm perfectly calm, I'm calm all the time, and he really stresses me out, and I just, rough morning. Well, why don't we do this? Why don't I sit you down in the back seat of my car? You're not in any trouble, okay? <laughs> I'm not going to be putting handcuffs on you. You obviously don't have any weapons. I'm going to get you into the air conditioning, let you take a breath, relax a little bit, and then I'll come back and talk to you in a few minutes, okay? Okay. All righty. Like I said, you're not in any trouble. So, just go ahead and take a seat. Alright y'all, so y'all saw that footage and hopefully, you know, seeing that you could kind of get what I was talking about or where I was going with my thoughts about how it just didn't really seem real. You know, um, it seemed a little rehearsed. It seemed, you know, sort of well played out. Um, and just the entire thing, man, the entire the entire case is just weird, man. Like I said, I know a, a lot of people are asking me to do this video. And y'all know I like to come through with it and just give my thoughts about it. You know, like I said, I wasn't going to just go too crazy into this case. You know, I figured it definitely was worth talking about and just pointing out some things. Um, excuse me, like this picture here, for instance. Now, I've seen some back and forth about whether or not people think this is actually the 666 sign on the police officer's hand while he's driving the car. Um, I did notice as I was watching the video, because you can really... You could really see it, I think, at the end of the hour-long footage when they get into the car. Now, a lot of people kind of relate it to being the last, I think, airbender sign or, or logo or something like that. But it doesn't really look like it. You know, that, that logo is a, just a little bit different as far as how the lines kind of all connect to each other. Um, so I thought it was... It was odd. I thought it definitely was odd that this officer has basically 666 on his hand. That is a pretty odd place to have that at. And um, he's kind of, to me, kind of making it well known in the camera, at least uh, um, at least a part of the footage where you could see it in the last few minutes of the video. Right. So that's just something else about this case to where we can't look at it as a coincidence like these things that we're seeing that's kind of telling us that this is not adding up this does not seem normal and then you already get it in a place where a lot of people go missing you know um a lot of families go missing a lot of people end up going into some kind of trail you know some kind of canyon or wherever they might have been hiking or somewhere and they come up missing and they're not found for you know, days and weeks later, and then they're probably found 40 miles from where they went missing, and it was no way that they even got there in the first place. It reminds me of a like a documentary movie called like 411. I think it was Missing 411 or something like that, where like a bunch of people just going missing in odd places, and 
you know, they might have they might have searched the place a hundred times. And then two weeks later, the person pops up at the place that was already searched over a hundred times. You know what I'm saying? Like really odd shit. You know what I'm saying? So the already, you know, in a place where just crazy shit like that happens to begin with. So I definitely find that to be odd about the entire story, um, just as far as them supposedly, you know, traveling across the country, you know, going to different canyons and so on and so on. You know, they definitely gave us a really good story to get attached to and to pull your emotions from. They they really gave us a, a an amazing, like, you know, story for you to just see and grab to and feel really bad for this woman, you know. And don't get me wrong, don't don't think I'm being insensitive about things that may really happen that has to do with, you know, domestic um, abuse and, you know, so on and so on. So don't get me wrong and just think I'm just dismissing every single thing. But y'all know how it is when the media picks up stories like this, when you have, you know, you have things like this going on in real life every single day and they don't they don't get as much attention as this. So. Just with that being said alone, we got to question everything. And then I'm going to play y'all the footage of a certain, you know, it was it was a certain part of the footage when they were pulling them over on August 12th. And the officer told her that everything was going to be OK and she was going to be like a golden flower blah 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 i say blah 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 because i couldn't understand what he said after that but he was basically telling her like you're gonna be okay you're gonna be like a golden flower meaning you're gonna be good like you're gonna be you know you're gonna be happy after this everything's gonna be all right but when he said golden flower instantly i thought of golden dawn i thought of the occult because really a golden flower to the occult is like an initiate it's a person who's practicing the Kabbalah, who's learning magic and who's learning spiritualism. They're basically trying to master these esoteric teachings. That's that's what a goading flower is to the occult. It's like a brand new initiate who's, you know, who's just going through the process of gaining that esoteric knowledge. So immediately when he said that, that clicked in my mind. Like, that's why I said it was certain you know, you had to watch the entire footage to kind of just get the drift of, you know, of the officers and stuff, how they just kind of seem weird. I don't know. It's hard to explain. But there were there were, you know, there were a few things that really stood out where it's like, all right, you know, a normal officer or a normal per normal person wouldn't have used that kind of terminology like a golden flower. You know what I'm saying? It was really odd. So when I heard that, it, you know, it just ding, ding, ding. It just ran, went off in my head. You know what I'm saying? So I thought that was odd. But look, before I continue to just go on, you know, go on about uh, um, about the case and just kind of rambling, I'm going to show you all that last part so you can see what I'm talking about, about the golden flower thing and how he just kind of like casually mentions it. And that'll be that. Um, I'm not going to come back in after I show that clip, because as I already said, I just wanted to kind of give you all my thoughts about it. Wasn't going to go too crazy. Didn't really want to make this video over 20 minutes, but I talk too much. So I'm sure it's over 20 minutes anyway. With that being said. Hope you all enjoyed this video. And, um, you know, if I miss some things or if it's some things that y'all want to say and throw in the comments, please be sure to share because some of y'all may have, you know, y'all may have dug into this more than I have. But, you know, then again, we're a community. We're all, you know, we're all here to share everything that we learning. So, um, you know, please hit me with it in the comments if y'all got anything you want to add. And I'll definitely try to respond if I see it. And as always, I appreciate y'all. We got a lot more content on the way. Thank y'all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Y'all already know what's going on. It's Black Balloon. And I'm going to see y'all soon.
I'm out. Tonight, away from each other, relax, breathe, crying, because there's no reason to be crying now, okay? This is, I understand that this can feel like it's a nightmare, but you're coming out as the golden flower on top of it. You're coming out as the golden flower on top of it. Okay, so, you're going to be taking the van tonight, and you're going to go somewhere else. I am going to get him lined up for the hotel room tonight. I want you guys to stay away from each other.